Welcome back to my channel. I have General here with me today and I'm going to show you how to put on standing wraps. If you don't know what standing wraps are, they're really helpful for either trailering or getting your horse's legs swelling down. Um, horses sometimes tend to stock up, especially after they work and then are stalled. So for horses that do that, this is really good for compression or protecting their legs in the trailer. They can also be combined with using poultice, um, but that's mostly personal preference. To make this really easy on yourself, you might want to tie your horse up or at least ground tie them or put them in a stall so they can't move away from you if they tend to be a little wiggly. <laughs> but General Hire, he's really cool. Make him a liar on myself. General's usually pretty good about just ground tying or standing here. Um, another thing to make it easy on yourself is just tie up their tail so it's not in your way. So to do this, I'm going to move out of the way. So you're going to take your pillow slash quilt wrap, that's pretty interchangeable terms, and you're going to place it about in the middle of the leg. I like to set mine just a little bit high because they tend to slide down just a little bit. Um, so when you're wrapping all leg wraps, whether it be SMBs, splint boots, polo wraps, standing wraps, you always want to wrap um, going from the inside around the front and then to the outside of the back leg. So for the right side, you always want to wrap clockwise. And for the left side of your horse on their legs, you want to wrap, wrap counterclockwise. And that's to make sure that you don't put um, unnecessary and harmful pressure on their tendons. Because if you wrap incorrectly or too tightly in the wrong way, you can really do some damage to your horse's legs. So I'm going to wrap this relatively loose um, because I'm going to come in and tighten it up with this um, standing wrap. Now to put on these wraps, you can use polo wraps, you can use standing wraps. Just make sure you know how to wrap them correctly. So I'm going to place the tab of this standing wrap under the last little bit of that um, foot pillow wrap. I'm going to slide this up just a little. And to make sure your wrap looks really neat, you should start pretty much towards the top. Um, you can really start wherever, but this just makes it look pretty neat. So I'm going to do the first pass pretty, pretty loose just to get my ends tied together. And then once I have one full lap around and it's secure, I'm going to come down in about one inch increments and I'm going to pull pressure only from the front and you're not going to pull real tight, just pretty snug. You're only going to pull pressure from the front coming off at about a 45 degree angle from their leg until here. And then you're going to release the pressure because that's going to make sure you don't do any damage to their tendons. So pull here, pull here, pull here. Here. Then once I get about here, I'm going to start going up in about one inch increments. Pulling here, pulling here, pulling here, and then just finishing it up with a pretty light touch tension um, to put the velcro on. So that's about what a standing wrap should look like. This is probably one of the better ones I've done. Um, if you need any more details, please let me know. Um, if you want to know where I got any of this stuff, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching.